I went up actually for Poltergeist. And um, I met Stephen, and he just said, you're not right for this, but you're right for this other thing, so you come back. And uh, I said, absolutely. You were nine? Six. Six. You said absolutely at six? Yes. And I was so excited because this person was one of the first adults who knew how to speak to kids. And it was intelligent, and it was he listened, and he played along. And I, I met, like someone who I knew would change my life when I met him, and he did. Did you know that after E.T. that, like, you'd be famous, or were you no, just like, part of some fantasy? not at all. I don't know what you know at six. I don't even remember six. No, I never thought anything like that, and I still don't, you know? I'm just glad it happened then, because... Boy, did you get life over like with suddenly? really early? There's not much left for you to find out. I mean, seriously. I'm telling you this from a really old perspective. There's really? not a lot left. It's really downhill. <laughs> I just get some Valium and back up. So what's your, like, nervous breakdown? You um, smoked a joint when you were nine? Yeah. Who gave you, who gave you uh, grass? Uh, Marijuana. My friend's know. mother, actually. <laughs> and do you remember getting stoned at nine? Oh, sure. And was it fun? Uh-huh. Because <laughs> <laughs> you're, like, young anyway. Yeah. So what's going on in your head when you get stoned as a nine? I was like, cool, trippy, surreal. Yeah. I get it. Yeah. Not that oh, we want you like, kids to try this at home. It was just, you know, a more vivid way of looking at life. Yeah. So that was okay, but then... Pot's fine. Yeah. I don't worry about pot. Worry Hard about drugs, pot. I get scared, because they really do mess you up, and they're just terribly unattractive. Yeah, you know, not good for the worse skin. Than, like someone with coke sweating and thinking they're really intelligent <laughs> and fervorously talking and this, to you. And hanging out. Yeah, with, like these crusty white boogers <laughs> are so gross. -y. How long did you do it for? Like years or just? No, I tried it for like a year, and right. then I was like, never again can I ever touch this stuff, and I haven't. <laughs> but you dance naked. See, that's what we want to know. She did. She I stripped danced naked all the time. In a kind of elegant naked. way or a sort of sad, pathetic, old hooker way? Um, hopefully elegant. Oh, right. So you're going for, like, yeah, I'm the grace aesthetics. I'm trying to be graceful. It's not like you're just humping at random. Not it's sad. at all. Because I did that performance. Really? Yeah. Once yeah. in Jamaica, I got up on stage because these oh, prostitutes I love Jamaica. loved me. I got hammered in Jamaica <laughs> yeah. on these drinks called the Bob Marleys. I'm like, I'm in Jamaica. I have to drink Bob Marley. You know how you just, like, end up finding that buddy for the <laughs> Well, I found my buddy, and he was worse off than I was, and we just karaoke'd until the cows came home. Did you know him the next day, or? I never seen him again. No. I don't know. I, you, if he t told me what he looked like, I wouldn't. If you put him in a lineup, I wouldn't be able to place him. Yeah, but he was your best friend. He was I. my buddy.